Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG, back with another one. Back with another reaction for today. We're going to be reacting to my childhood right here. My motherfucking childhood, man. This is... If we going back into my childhood, this this movie right here, this movie right here, this movie right here. Oh man, no, I can't do that song. I gotta do another song. What's another good song? This movie right here. Oh man. I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I'm sitting wishing I was kidding you. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore, but some days I'm sitting wish I was a kid again. Man, George of the motherfucking jungle, nigga. This my shit right here, bro. George of the jungle, do y'all remember? Do y'all remember the OG George of the jungle with George Frazier before he, before he let himself go? George Frazier, man. This was my shit. This is my childhood. Hey, we're going to have to do childhood tier list, bro. Childhood tier list, bro. That's going to be fire, bro. Going back to your childhood. My childhood. This top 10. I don't care what y'all say. This is top 10, bro. I remember way back when. I remember way back when. Oh my God, bro. This is top 10 classics, bro. This is a certified childhood classic, bro. We doing childhood certified classics, bro. Oh man, we gonna do a tier list, bro. We gonna do a tier list, y'all. But for right now, we just gonna keep it like this, bro. This is with bro with glasses. Without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> man, this dude is off the chain. What do you guys think about Brendan Fraser? I always felt like he never got as big as he should have. Facts. Even with his mainstream success. Facts. He's a good looking guy with a very charming personality. I don't know about Super that. Super nice too. You've never heard a bad thing about him. Not really. And if there was a Shazam movie back in the 90s, he'd be my first choice. Facts. But it doesn't exist. So let's take a look at my favorite Brendan Fraser movie, George of the Jungle. Facts. Turn it up. George, George, George of the Jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree. Released in 1997, George of the Jungle is based off the 1967 cartoon based off the 1912 story Tarzan. We follow George, who was lost in the African jungle as a baby when a plane crashed, leaving him to be raised by the animals around him. However, the first person we see is Ursula, getting ready for an African safari, being led by some locals and Richard Roundtree? <laughs> Damn right. Damn Ursula's right. fiance Lyle and his two goons show up to Ursula's surprise. Ursula is content on staying, so Lyle sticks around, even though he doesn't want to be there. They travel to the Ape Mountains, where they hope to discover the legendary White Ape. Lyle needs to be established as a dickhead, so he ignores Richard Roundtree's instructions to be careful on this rickety bridge, knocking over one of the tour guides. Don't worry, nobody dies in this story. They just get really big boo-boos. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Let's talk yep. about this narrator for a second who's the best character and he ain't nothing but a disembodied voice. Facts. He'll periodically jump in and toss the obvious, 
but he'll also interact with the cast, breaking the fourth wall. Oh no, was right. But the exhaust hey, ape never. Why don't you say something constructive for a change? Like, what would you do now? Because I don't, don't like, like you. Got it. Wild Child's making peace with the tour guide. He started it. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Condescending manner. Look, magic fire. Check out my magic box that can make pictures. <laughs> I'm so rich and white. All right, he ain't, say, he, ain't, he ain't say that last part, but you get the idea. <laughs> then my man pulls out a way better camera, flexing on loud goofy ass, who gets upset and drags Ursula away. They get attacked by a CGI lion, and Lyle immediately runs away, falling over and knocking himself out. George makes his entrance, flying into a tree. Did you find that funny? Well, I hope you did, because it happens multiple times throughout the movie. Facts. George and the lion get into a wrestling match, which George wins. He takes a passed out Ursula back to the treehouse where we meet Ape, who's a talking ape. The animal characters in this movie are pulled directly from the cartoon. Ape also talks to Nat as well, acting as George's intelligent older brother. So the next 25 minutes are spent watching George and Ursula slowly fall for each other. Ursula is impressed with George's ability to communicate with the animals. The lion from earlier reappears to attack a group of monkeys. They all run. But one monkey stays behind to assert his dominance. <laughs> Turns out it's <laughs> planned by George and the lion to help little monkey get some respect from his homies. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lyle and the others who spent the last two days searching for his bride to be finally finds her. His plan is to scare George with his lighter gun, which is actually a real gun that the African dude swapped out a few minutes earlier and Lyle was this close to blowing his face off. Since the white ape is just some regular guy, Lyle's goons Max and Thor decide to go for the talking ape. George runs to ape's defense and Lyle pulls the trigger. <laughs> okay kids, let's settle down and review the important information. Poor George was really shot but can't die because let's face it, he's the hero. Fat. Damn. That was more plot armor than Cole Young in Mortal Kombat. Facts. Max and Thor are deported, but next time we see them, they're still in Africa, so I don't know what happened there. Lyle is locked up after being picked out of a police line. Hmm. I wonder which one of these men did it. Ursula flies George out to San Francisco for top-notch medical treatment. I mean, he looks fine to me. Apparently, all he needed was a band-aid for getting shot in the head. At this point in the movie, it becomes... 50% George of the Jungle and 50% Sex in the City. Ursula tries to domesticate George, dressing him in nice clothes and adjusting to normal city life. Ursula goes back and forth with her mother Beatrice, who for some reason is dead set on her marrying Lyle, and they never explain why. Alright, so usually when people have arranged marriages, it's either to make connections with the parents or maybe they consider this particular man or woman of high value and royalty. I mean, we don't really know anything about Lyle except that he's a rich asshole. So, I can't imagine why Ursula wouldn't want to marry this charming young man. Even though George quickly earns the admiration of Ursula's friends and family. Hi, George Jungle. I like men now! Beatrice <laughs> remains persistent in getting rid of George and having Ursula marry Lyle, who has been non-existent. During a dinner party, Beatrice has a private talk with George, telling him, you're not good enough for my daughter. You're a Neanderthal. Ursula needs someone with class. Why don't you go home and hump a monkeys? All right, she didn't, <laughs> she didn't say that last part, but you get the idea. While reflecting, his pet bird, Tuki, shows up who flew all the way to San Francisco from Africa. Okay. Max and Thor, who again were not deported, took a hostage. George leaves to go save his friend. Ursula asks her parents where George went, and Beatrice gives, quite possibly, the dumbest response. If he really cared for you, he'd leave you alone. Let you get on with your life. Marry life. That's the distinct tang of a liar. Yeah, <laughs> the friendly, sexy jungle man Willingly went home so his would-be girlfriend can marry the guy that shot him. <laughs> okay, lady. Ursula realizes she loves George and goes after him. 
George mails himself to Africa via UPS. Then we get the best product placement I have ever seen. George pulls out Fact. a fresh pair of oh. black Nikes and runs. Golden shoes right here. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta show y'all the drip. Now don't laugh at my shoes here, but you know what I'm saying, you know. Hold on, let me make sure I get in the camera. Don't don't laugh at my drip, man. Don't laugh at them saying, oh, this shoe dirty as fuck. Duh, nigga. These are goldiest shoes ever, bro. Oh, man. The Nike Up Tempos or the Scotty Pimpins, whatever you want to call them. These are hands down the most goaded shoe of all time, bro. That motherfucking air cushion at the bottom, perfect, bro. Those air bubbles at the bottom, the cushioning, the fact that the shoe is, the shoe got so much room in it, and it don't feel loose. It don't feel loose. These shoes are goaded, bro. If you ain't got these, bro, these are perfect comfort shoes, pooping shoes. Going to work shoes, bro. I gotta get a pair of the black and white ones though. I got these red and um these white and red ones. I got these for I got these from uh I got these from foot action before I left. Before I left from up north and moved down south, I bought them for like I got them on sale for like 50 bucks at foot action. I know y'all like foot action. I ain't heard from them in a minute. Yeah, we got a foot action up there. I ain't, and foot action ain't popping like it used to. But man. Man, let me tell y'all something, man. These motherfuckers right here. Goated shoes, bro. You gotta have a pair of these, bro. These are the best comfort shoes for hooping, going to work in. Just bro, if you got if you got wide feet like me, I got wide feet. Them shoes is perfect for you. Them and hold on, I got another pair too. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got the drip, bro. I got the drip, bro. Y'all might not know my shoe collection is crazy, bro. My shoe collection crazy. these right here right see I got these then I got their predecessors the air monies now these right here these are fire I don't know how many people got these but I got these I got like three different parodies I got I got the NYC one I got these right here don't don't I wore these motherfuckers out these are my these are my daily hooping shoes right here the uh, piggy bank air money and then these are the regular ones these are the ones I think J. Cole wore uh, these are the ones that J. Cole wore in that uh, in that one music video these are the ones that J. Cole wore in uh, one music video I think it was uh, ATM count it up count it up count it up count it Cut it up, you remember, because look at the bottom, and then look at the top, and then go watch the J. Cole video. <laughs> hey, man, my shoe my shoe collection goaded, bro. 
Y'all might not know, my shoe collection kind of goaded, bro. I might have to do a shoe collection for y'all. Even though my shoe collection consists of, like, comfort shoes, I'm not really big on, like, retros and shit. Like, I'm more big on, like, comfort shoes. So, you're going to see a lot of, like, Air Max and shit like that. Yo, my shoe game is crazy, bro. Let me know in the comment section y'all want to see the shoes, bro. I, I, got, I got the drip, bro. I got the drip, my nigga. I got the drip, but they mostly comfort shoes, my guy. I don't, I don't rock the fashionable shoes i rock comfort shoes bro because i got wide feet you know what i'm saying I, I, I ain't got big fat feet you know what i'm saying big fat feet and shit like that you know what i'm saying i ain't got that nah i'm a, i because i can still hoop so my feet ain't swollen up and shit like that my feet just wide yeah because i still be hooping and shit but yeah for miles back to the jungle without tearing them up what are the fire shoes, bruh. George returns to his ransacked treehouse only for Max and Thor to return at the same time. Apes sent these idiots in circles for three days only to end up in the same spot they started. Because I don't like you. They get into a very goofy Oh, uh, this is funny. Fight. The highlight for me is George being uppercutted right out the Nikes. Goddamn. <laughs> Tuki, Shep, and Ursula make the save, beat the bad guys, and happy as it. Lyle? Yes, Lyle. Oh yeah, Lyle. Where's he been? The big old man who can escape from the bush of our tail and join the obscure cult on the shores of Lake Tanganyika. You what? Wait, 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 wait. So this rich, well-connected socialite didn't bother making a call to possibly get some bail money or have his people give him some amnesty or whatever. Lyle also has more random goons who overpower George International laws are different. If you get locked up over, hey, let me tell y'all something. If y'all get locked up, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. If you get locked up outside of the United States of America, it's a good chance you're, you're not going to make bail. Remember, you're American. They don't like you from the jump. Especially if you this skin color, oh, you definitely going to jail. They don't negotiate. Ain't no such thing as bail. You can have representatives, but there ain't no such thing as bail. So if you get locked up, they're not letting you out. So don't fuck around when you outside of the United States. If you go into these other countries and shit, you better act accordingly. They don't play in them other states. This ain't America. The other states is not like America. Ain't no democracy. You can't just be over here wilding, bro. If you over there, chill, fuck some bad bitches, you know what I'm saying? And, and enjoy your stay, my nigga. The fuck you going over there starting up shit for? You don't know them people, them people. People will probably take you in a fuck nigga. People probably take you in the back and stab you the fuck up, and throw you in the garbage can. And ain't nobody gonna know you was gone. You be missing, and don't nobody even know. And the country ain't gonna be looking for you either. The country gonna be like, well, he fucked around and found out. So stop. When you go outside the United States of America, you better you better enjoy your time, and you better and you better obey the laws. That's all I'm gonna say. First of all, I was kicks with Ursula. Little Monkey from earlier puts out a signal to the gorilla unit who handle all the goons via transition. Gee, you get bandanas. <laughs> <coughs> Lau took Ursula on a dangerous path that led to a fun looking water slide. They hop on a boat where they enter a not so fun looking canal. George swings into a tree, which helps him pull Ursula to safety. Lyle, who didn't bother looking behind him the entire time, marries himself to a monkey. <laughs> George and Ursula have a kid setting up a sequel. I remember not being that good. They green screen the Lion terrible. King shot and happy ending. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. You want to know what happened to me? Uh, not really. Yes. Say what you yes. want about this movie, but it knows exactly what it is. It's a Tarzan parody that just wants to be fun. It takes a lot from the original cartoon, which you can find on YouTube. Every joke won't land, but the character interactions are funny. 
plenty of visual gags to look out for. And again, the narrator is my guy. Yeah. Don't like you. Brendan Fraser is all in on this role. He's having tons of fun with it, which is the true sign of a quality actor. And that was George of the Jungle. Check it out if you haven't. I'm out of here, and y'all stay frosty. Facts. Hey, man, George of the... Black Tickle. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's just gonna about do it for this one, man. Hey, George of the Jungle is a hood classic. Now, the sequel, we don't talk about the sequel, okay? We we don't. We don't talk about the sequel, okay? The sequel does not exist. If George Frazier ain't George, if if George Frazier is not George of the Jungle, we don't we don't want to see it. This is George of the Jungle. That second movie don't exist. But anyways, though, we gonna do a uh, uh, we gonna do a we gonna do a kids movie tier in the near future. I'm gonna take oh oh my childhood was crazy. Blockbuster used to be going wild, my boy. We gonna do a kids movie tier list, bro. We gonna do one in the future, bro. But anyway, so that's just gonna about do it for this one. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, peace out.